So if you click on that, you'll see this table along with some instructions further down. There's three parts to the exercise, so you should do all three. And uh, the first thing you want to do is print out this table. And it's uh, an exercise in calculations and finding patterns. So you want to get out a calculator. You can use your cell phone calculator if you want. And what we're given is the period of the planet's orbits. That's under the category P, period in years. And the semi-major axis, that's the size of the planet's orbit in astronomical units. What you're going to try to do is calculate the squares and cubes of these numbers. So for a squared, you just take the number a, multiply it by itself, so a times a, and put that in the column a squared. And for p squared, you multiply p by itself, square it, and then put it in that column. And then for a cubed, you can take a, and you have to do, you can do a times a times a, so that number times itself times itself, or if you want to raise it to the power of 3, that'll give you a cube. And when you write these numbers in, just round them off to one or two digits. Don't get lost in the details. And, you know, I should say normally we do this exercise in groups, so if you wanted to work with someone else on this, that'd be great. That's how I intend to do it. Um, it's a little harder to do when everyone's in their own home and we're doing online learning. So uh, read the directions and as you'll see in part one, you hopefully will notice a pattern. Some of these columns will seem very similar to the others. You'll say well, something equals something and that's what you write in here and then you'll use the pattern that you found, which is Kepler's third law, to figure out the period of some unknown object series and also figure out the semi-major axis of uh, a newly discovered asteroid called Quoar. Okay, good luck on the assignment. Let me know if you need any help.